Hello, Daniel. How are you? Good, Martin. Nice to see you. Yeah. Also, for me, it's very, very, very nice from you part that you make the interview. So, it has been four years since your book has been out, but finally it has come out in English. I have been waiting for four years for this book to come out. And I finally got the chance to read it, and it was all that I hoped for. The reason that I have found your book so important for me is your mother, Alice Miller, has been the most important psychology writer that I have ever found. She helped me more than anybody else, helped me any other psychology writer. I recommend her books more than I recommend the books of any other therapist or psychologist. Yet I had criticisms of her. I had ideas about her that were not exactly positive all the time, even though I think she's great. And you reached out to me a few years ago about some of the things I had written, and we connected. And when I discovered that you were writing a book about your mother, I thought, finally, someone will tell a personal story about your mother, something about that really happened. So your book in English is called The True Drama of the Gifted Child. So as we have prepared, I have written some questions for you, and you have prepared your answers in English. And I also want to let the audience know that you are also a therapist. You have been a therapist for a long time. 40 years, quiet 40 years, I work as psychotherapist and I uh, exercise the theory also of my mother, but I find out also a lot myself. So, my first question is, can you share about what inspired you to write this book? Yes, after my mother's death in an American publisher offered me to write a biography about my mother. First, I hesitate because I knew my mother tried her whole life to hide her past and keep it a secret. But I overcome my inhibitions and started to write her biography more and more. I realized that I also wanted to share the truth and make it public. All of my mother's readers idolized her and spoke about her greatness and her kind heart. The truth is that this was not the truth. But I overcame the fear to betray my mother. First and foremost, I want to show that Alice Miller in the books is a phantom, an artistic figure and a fictional character. That's why I am describing my mother as a real person as she was. She never was the ideal mother to me. She created in her books. Can you explain to me how someone can be so brilliant as your mother about childhood trauma, yet so blind to her own behavior at the same time? Because as I read your book about her, it was clear that here we have a woman who theoretically is so brilliant, perhaps the most brilliant, and yet in her personal life it seems like something was missing, like she didn't incorporate these ideas into yes. in, into her practice, into her own personal life. So I, I'm curious, how, how, how do you explain this difference, that someone can be so split in a way? No problem. So, my mother has split off her war trauma completely. She was forced to leave in Warsaw as a Jewish girl under a false name in order to survive. She was blackmailed by my own father, who cooperated with the Gestapo. Despite, in her books, my mother tried to correct 
her self-image as a failed mother. She created an Alice Miller who was a good mother, which helped her to split off her own failure as a mother towards me. Mm. That's, that's normal. When you are uh, a victim of, of, of Holocaust and uh, if you have a, a war trauma, it's, it's a normal splitting off of the, of the experience of the war. My mother never overcame this experience and has never discussed or proceeded, processed it in, it in her own therapies. When you don't uh, process this in a therapy, you must project your experience of the war to the next generation. Mm. So I wonder, <laughs> what has been the response by readers of Alice Miller to the versions of your books, your book in other languages? So what have people been saying about your book over the last four years? After the publication of my book in Germany, I have received mainly positive reactions. So readers have been shocked. A few readers attacked me being a traitor. A traitor to your mother. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. In France, the reaction was completely different. In France, I have had experience a real shitstorm by all the supporters. Mm. I guess in the USA also, but I don't know. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> so, my next question. Yes. You wrote about Alice Miller feeling guilt as a failed mother. Yeah. And you wrote about yourself feeling guilt in breaking away from her and becoming an independent adult. Can you share what is the difference between her guilt and your guilt? No problem. My mother clearly realized that her behavior towards me was vicious and she neglected me and made practically all mistakes she accused all mothers of in her books. Her behavior has criminal features. My guilt feeling consisted of me being a traitor. Who wants to accuse publicly his own parents of being violent and abusive and question their behavior? especially when your mother is, in the eye of the public, the ideal mother. Beautifully said. I also relate to what you're saying. <laughs> so, this leads into my next question. Yeah. What do you think would be Alice Miller's response to your book about her. Yeah. My mother would totally reject my book and would not hesitate to take legal steps against me. She would use all her media power against me and would declare war. That's why I was only able to write her biography after her death. Hmm. So this leads into my next and my final question. And I'm very curious how you will answer this. Yeah. What do you think would be Alice Miller's response to this exact book if it was written by someone else about a different famous psychologist mother? That is... If this book was not written by you, and it was not about her. Yeah, I understand. My mother would have been thrilled if she would not be affected herself. She would immediately contact the author and would praise him, support him, 
she would congratulate him on working according her own theory and encourage him to continue continue to do so. You, you think uh, your, your friends will understand uh, the answers? I think they will understand the answers, definitely. And I, I want to thank you for agreeing to do this, because I know it is not easy to talk about this material, and it's not easy to talk about it in a second language. Yes. So I'm, I'm very happy that you helped me, because, you know, I want also get a little justice. Hmm. Because, uh, and I want also help to other people, they have the courage to speak about her life, what happened. Because a uh, so lot of people, it's necessary they can tell what happened. Hmm and can find out her own truth about her biography. And it's the theory of my mother. But I practice, it, practice this and she doesn't. Hmm. That's the difference. Mm -hmm.